Hello guys and gals, welcome to a new tutorial. In today's video, we are going to be covering one of Unreal Engine 4's um, features, I suppose. It's one of the uh, one of the technical features. Uh, we can actually move the pivot of an object in engine temporarily, and then we can vertex snap things together using specific vertices on two objects. So you can see here I've got some staircases. These are just regular static meshes in the starter content. You can see that the pivot is in the bottom left hand corner for both. Here I just have a cube and the pivot is in the middle. So can I move this pivot? Yes, yes I can. If you were to highlight the little ball and hold middle mouse click, you can see we've got a little grabby hand. Now we can drag this around and we can place the pivot wherever we like and then things such as rotation and scale will happen from that position. Obviously if you hit a scale of zero it's going to put the pivot back to where it should be. But as you can tell this might not be quite what we want. See here that's not a very accurate way of doing things. So what we can do is while on the movement widget we can hold down V on the keyboard and middle mouse click and now you can see in the background that we've got some verts if I get into a better position here hold down V and middle mouse click at the same time you see now that the verts for this box have become apparent they're lit up in blue and you can see that the pivot is actually snapping to whichever one I'm closest to once it is too far away I'm not going to snap but we can snap to other objects you can see here I'm snapping to the stairs now and at times I'm snapping to the floor so I can place this on any vert and then use that as a new pivot. The pivot will remain where it is unless you undo beyond when you placed it. Or if you deselect the item and reselect it, it will be back where it, it you know where it lives, where it usually belongs. To change this location permanently, you can do that in your 3D editing software. The pivot just needs to be at 000, and that's where the pivot will be in relation to your object. So how do we use that to vertex snap? Well, if I move this set of stairs over here, in fact I could use stairs on the other side really, couldn't I, logically speaking. If I was to hold down V on the keyboard and then click and drag, you can see the other set of stairs now has its vertices all lit up. Now this is just left click while holding V and then dragging the movement tool. You can see as I go towards the set of stairs it's verts highlight because that's something that's now highlighted for attempted snapping. You see there it's snapping directly to the verts. In some instances you're going to want really specific snapping and to make that occur what we can do is we can hold down V and middle mouse click, move our movement widget to another vertice, like that one. Then, once we've let go, hold V and left click and drag to snap the verts from a new location. And that's how we move the pivot and then snap the vertices. Yay! <laughs> so, that's just a quick one for you guys, just uh, for one of the underlying systems for. Unreal Engine. Hopefully some of you are going to find that helpful. It's something that I've had requested um, and yes I am still trying to read all of your guys comments. Unfortunately I've been really 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 busy of late um, so you know I know I always say oh, I'm gonna do more videos but then I just keep getting bogged down with more stuff. Um, it's kinda keeping me busy. Really busy. Um, I had one of my old lecturers from uh, Southampton Solent University tweet me. Apparently a lot of you guys at that university are watching my videos um, and a lot of you are using my work. <laughs> well, a lot of you are using my tutorials for your work which I think is hilarious because <laughs> it means that that man is now marking my work again and again for the next three years. So thank you for uh, 
thank you for that for making him uh, suffer <laughs> I loved my time at that university it's amazing uh, I'm going to come visit sometime um, don't know when I need to sort that out with a uni anyway um, I am reading requests I am going to get through some more of it and do some more complex stuff with you guys and also keep doing more basic videos like this one um, because obviously you know we have I have beginners, intermediate, and some more um, professional users that are using my videos at the moment. So I need to try and get content out that's applicable for all of you. Um, I'm going to read through as many of the comments as I can, as I say, get through all those requests. If you do have some, just leave them for me. I do try to read them all, but as I say, uh, very busy of late, um, but they do come straight directly to my phone so I always see them um, it's just a case of when I get around to replying to them I do anyway thanks for watching I hope you found that useful see you next time